Hello, I'd like to show you how to determine the regular expression to a final automaton, it doesn't matter which kind, by eliminating the states. And the first step we have to do is that we want to um, convert the transitions to regular expressions. So uh, this one is clear, one stays one. And, but here you can either take the transition with a zero or with a one. And in the regular extra expression, the OR is symbolized, well, it depends on where you are coming from. It could be a pipe symbol or it could be a plus. I will use a pipe symbol here, which just, just means OR in a regular expression. And here as well. Then the next step we have to do is that we want to eliminate every state which is neither a final state nor in an initial state. So we want to, in this case, we want to eliminate Q1 and Q2 first. I will start with Q1. And we do it by um, having a look on the ways we have to go through. So if Q1 wouldn't be there anymore, we would need a way from Q0 well, um, with this transition to Q2, so we want to get a direct wave from Q0 to Q2. And also, compared to these two transitions, we want to get a transition from Q0 to Q3. And we have to do this, um, we have to look at every incoming transition and every outgoing transition to and from Q1. So if there would be three incoming ones and four outgoing ones, we would have to add 12 different transitions when eliminating Q1. So first, let's look at this way. We take the transition with 1 to Q1 and the transition to Q2. And well, when we eliminate Q1, we would get a new automaton with the initial state, the, the loop we just leave there, and then we are left with Q2 and Q3. We will keep the loop here at Q2, and we will keep this transition 0 or 1. And now this first way, the transition to Q1 with 1 and then to Q2, we will just um, append them to each other and we get a new transition with the one and append it. There we append zero or one, which comes from those second transition. And then we could also use the other way. And there we, we get a new transition again with those one. And then we append the other one from this transition. So we get a new transition uh, with a regular expression, um, which is just 1-1. One, one. In the next step, we want to eliminate Q2. And then we will get a new automaton where we are, where we are only left with Q0 and Q3. And we, we will just um, take this transition and leave it there, so 1-1. One, one. And for this whole way, we will add another transition. And there we will just keep this part, so 1, 0, or 1. Then when we are in Q2, we can follow this loop with a 1, and that is just the same as one star in a regular expression, so we keep the one star here. And then we will have the transition here from uh, with zero or one. And then now this whole ray from Q0 to Q3 um, was uh, transformed into this transition um, symbolized by these ho this whole uh, regular expression. So what we are doing now is when we are left with those automaton that is, has only the initial state and the final states left, for each final state, 
We will now create a new automaton which only consists of the initial state and those final state and we will uh, eliminate all others. And in this case, um, except in one situation when the initial state is um, a final state as well, then we will just have a new automaton with just one state. So when I am um, uh, so when I'm looking at Q0 as final state, um, oh sorry, I just noticed I forgot the loop. It's very important. So if I want to get uh, a one automaton that symbolizes all rays through the automaton where I'm um, where I'm ending at Q0, then I will get so just those. Automaton with one state, and I don't have any incoming transitions I have to look at. So all ways through the whole automaton where I am, um, where I end at Q zero is just uh, when I follow those um, those loop. And then when I am, um, when I create the automaton with Q three as final state, then I will have a new automaton with Q0 and Q3. And in this case, Q0 will not be an, a final state because the case where Q0 is a final state, I was already covered with this automaton. So I'm, but I will keep the loop here because in, in ways where I end at Q3, I can also use this loop. And I will be left with one transition, so I can either take the, the upper transition with all the stuff here, so 1, 0 or 1, 1 star, 0 or 1. Or I can do, I can take the other transition, so I will just concatenate them with an OR, with Q, two ones. And now, when I have those two automaton, then I can create the regular expression uh, when, I, or when I have all the automatons for every final state in those automaton. Now I can get the regular expression uh, for the whole automaton by just um, connecting them with an OR. So this one, this, ex this automaton is represented by zero star. And I will just write a big OR for um, that I can to say that I can either use this automaton or this automaton, or in this case this regular expression or this one. And then I just um, yeah I write down what I have here. So I take the loop zero star from here, and then concatenate it with the with those stuff over here, which contains 1, concatenated with 0 or 1, 1 star, 0 or 1, or 1, 1 from the, ref, from the left side. And now this whole expression, that is a regular expression that accepts the same language or generates the same language as those automaton we started with.